almost an ideal time to consider touching up your fescue lawn. Keep in mind that they're cool season lawns and they grow best in fall, winter, and spring. Right now, we want to pay attention to how our soil is conditioned before we started sowing seed. So we've run a coring airifying machine over it. And what a core airifier does is it pulls up little plugs. It has a whole series of steel knives that are cylindrically shaped. And they go down, they pull up a core of soil, as you can see with these right here. And this has shown us how badly compacted our soil indeed is. We have a lot of visitors out to the studio garden and they love to walk right through this trail right here looking at some of the shade perennials. And what we have is just a little area on top where there's a tiny bit of thatch, a small amount of a root system, and then soil. And it's showing us that our root system is not very deep right here and it is because of compacted soils. You can rent one of these core airifying machines from a local rental agency. It's a long, slow process to run one over your lawn but if you'll do it every two or three years, it'll really make a great difference. And let me show you how. Down in here, where it pulls up the plugs, it'll leave these up on the surface. Don't worry about those. They'll slowly disintegrate with the freezing and thawing of winter. They won't hurt anything. By spring, you won't even notice the difference. The hole they leave helps loosen the soil and immediately provides oxygen to the existing root system. Now, if you're not going to use a core air fire machine such as this, and you're just touching up a small area of fescue, you can take a steel rake like this and just go over that small area very vigorously back and forth in several directions. As you can see, this is a lot more labor intensive than running one of those machines over it, and it's not going to be as effective, but it will help loosen up a small area. If you have an, an area where you just happen to step around some beds that is worn out, you can do that instead. Now, if you're going to seed fescue, the ideal times to do it in Oklahoma is from September 15th until October 6th. You have about a three-week window. And in doing that, you want to make sure that you buy fresh seed. The different varieties don't really matter too much. OSU has done a great deal of research on tall fescue varieties, and so far as the homeowner is concerned, any of the improved tall fescues are fine. Now, I've put some in my drop seeder. And you don't want to use a whirly bird type if you're around beds like these, because if you get fescue over in here, you've got a weed problem all winter long. I've set this according to the instructions on the seed package that tells me for this type of spreader what my setting needs to be. And you want to apply the seed in a plaid pattern. First going this direction, and back again. And then when you come around this way, you want to turn perpendicular to that and park it on up here. And at the same time that you sow seed, you should also put down the equivalent of one pound of actual nitrogen per thousand square feet. If that were a sack of 10-20-10 fertilizer, you'd need about 10 pounds over a thousand square foot area. And then in about six weeks, uh, put on that amount again. Now one of the keys to having success was overseeding a tall fescue lawn to thicken it up in the fall is to make sure that you put it on at the right time. If you put it on in the spring, it won't get its root system well enough established before the heat hits and you won't have as good a success. The other key is to make sure that you water it frequently. If you work during the day, lightly water it before you leave for work, water it again as soon as you come home, and then maybe lightly again just before bedtime. If you can stop back at home during the lunch hour and water it, that would be so much the better. But you just want to set the sprinkler, get it to watering back and forth two or three times a day to keep that seed moist. One final tip is if you can also rent a roller, which is a hollow cylinder that you follow behind, you fill it with water, that will help give you good seed to soil contact because you are broadcasting this right on the surface. If you can't do that, after you seed and it's just a small area, you could go over like this and just firm it in slightly, but a roller would, would really do a better job for you. Well, I hope that gives you some tips on how to thicken up your fescue this fall. Later on in the month, we'll show you some tips on how to overseed Bermuda grass with ryegrass to keep it green all through the winter.